Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Uh, time for another beer review. Time for another Virgin beer review. And we're carrying on with um, our beers that we got from good old York, Ainsty, Ainsty Ales, brewed in the original York and Ainsty Wape and Take, Wap and Tacky, Wape and Tack Take. It was a thing, it was like an old word, well, old word for like a council, district council, back back in day. Um, so we've done the Flummox Farmer, we've done the Cool Citra. Cool Citra's an award winner. Go go check out the videos on that. Uh, if you just joined us here, by the way, like, share and subscribe to this channel, Hop House. Hop, you be a good house music. Shall we crack on? Let's do this. Okay, so this is the third beer from NC Ales. Um, and it's been refrigerated in my fridge for a couple of days, so it's going to be nice and cold. And it is this Killer Kiwi 5% New World IPA. Ainsty Ales, look at that. It's got whatever that's meant to be. I like the artwork on it, it's kind of comical, kind of cool, kind of cartoony. It's groovy. So, Killer Kiwi New World IPA. I'm thinking Killer Kiwi means New Zealand hops. Excuse me, that was disgusting. So we're taking a bit of a break from the American hops and we're going for some Killer Kiwi. 5%, so it is in the beginning of IPA strength for me in this country. I know some true people out there say 6% and above is IPA, especially American style. But this is New World, it's Killer Kiwi, so it's New Zealand, I'm guessing. Um, so far, I've been really, really impressed with the beers from Ainsty Ales, so give yourselves a big round of applause. When I do upload these, I will tag you in them. Best before is August 20. So it is, we're August 21. So this is a year out of date, or not out of date, a year after it's best before. But as I said, um, I bought these in November 2019. I was up in York, my stepdad's 70th. We, we went York for the day and they had the Christmas market on and I stumbled, they had a stall there. I stumbled across it. I tried their cool citra there and then and sold. I got a four pack. Um, the fourth beer is a stout. It's an oatmeal stout and I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna do that when I do my next dark beer day, which is coming soon. It's due another dark beer day. Uh, so we'll run through some dark beers and I will include the Ainsty Ale stout in that. Should we get this into the glass and uh, See how she looks, how she pours. The first bird was really lively. Whoa, and that's crazily lively and gone all over the floor. Okay, should have done that over the sink. Stand by, I'm gonna pause it and put a towel down and clean that up. Back in a jiff. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um, wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. It looked like it had plowed on the floor, but uh, it was certainly lively. A lot louder than I thought. Right, let's get what's left of the can out into the glass. Five percent lively kiwi IPA. Killer kiwi. Nearly killed me floor. Now it looked a lot worse than it was actually. It was only sort of a littleish puddle. But oh, I did lose a bit of beer, I think now. Right. This doesn't look that dissimilar to the other two beers we've had. I have to say, quite light golden uh, in colour. Some light bleeding through at the bottom. You can see a couple of little particles floating about. So again, is it a can condition beer? If it is, good call Ainsty Ales. Um, I'm not sure what the hops are in this. We'll, we'll, we'll judge the beer, then we'll read the can and do whatever we do. Um, I'm guessing it's quite lively because it's so far out of date. I'm not too sure. It's not always been kept upright as well. My beer stash, it was sort of kept in its box on the side. So whether that's affected it, I don't know. Right, let's get the nose in there. Let's give it a whiff and see what we can sniff. Oh, that's hoppy. It's sweet, sit, tropical, tropical sweet. A bit bitey as well. Kind of what you expect. New Zealand hops tend to be more sweeter than American hops, so I've found. Uh, I know there's a, a local brewery not too far from me called Slater's. They do a beer called Hacker, um, and that's a sweet IPA. But the the bitterness counteracts with the sweetness, so it's quite well balanced. This smells rather sweet, but I'm expecting it to be quite hoppy and well balanced. Uh, because I've lost some of the beer in what fell on the floor, I can just go straight into laser vision. So for all the lacing fans out there, 
Look at how that laces in the glass. Look at how it swirls around. Looks absolutely divine. Chases the head beautifully. It looks a really good beer. Um, and I know there's some, there are some people out there that probably don't like beers like this. They expect the beer to be clear, otherwise they think it's end of the barrel type stuff. But not all beers have finings through them. Not all beers are filtered. Uh, and refined this is unfiltered it's unfined and uh, there's bits of sediment in there so it's a can conditioned beer traditionalists may think that's vile but it adds to the flavor it really does and um, I tend to find that sometimes if I have especially mass-produced kind of filtered fine beers um, plays about with my guts a bit whereas if I have something like this it's a bit gentler on the old um, digestive and intestinal system maybe it's just me right i'm gonna bottoms up and down the hatch and get the taste it smells very sweet tropical sweet tropical citrusy bottoms up down the hatch cheers oh, oh. oh. Why did you have to spill over my floor? I've only got a few mouthfuls of that. It wasn't that bad. The spill wasn't that bad. But this isn't that bad. It's bloody marvellous. What a beer. Look at it. New Zealand hops, maybe. Mm. it hits the tongue wham down the sides with fruity tropical fruity bitterness down the sweet down the middle of the tongue again it sort of goes down at the same side and then it's sort of it's still there but it's sort of a little bits of flavor just floating around the mouth and sort of staying there and um, you're getting your pineapple, you're getting um, grapefruit, you're getting kiwi fruit, passion fruit, maybe some pithy sort of orange pith. Maybe a little bit apricotty or no, maybe not apricotty, definitely passion fruit, definitely grapefruit, definitely kiwi. Um, A little bit peachy maybe yeah peachy rather than apricot but it's like sweet but it's so good it's sweet but hoppy but it's not too sweet where you're like oh my god that's just full of sugar it's it's really tasty really really tasty now the other two beers i had so far have been ex have been really good two thumbs up this is probably pipped to them to be honest it's just a shame it was so lively and uh, I lost a bit on the floor. So, uh, the beginning bit of the description on the can says about the brewery. I read that on the first review. Uh, so go check out the review of the Flummox Farmer and it'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. Uh, this says, crisp and clean, killer kiwi is packed with five, yes, five New Zealand hops. This tropical IPA is crisp, clean, and perfect all year round. It doesn't actually say what those five New Zealand hops are, but then again, does it need to? I'm not, I don't know too much about New Zealand hops. I know that Nelson Sorvin's one. I think uh, Rakao is another one. Um, that beer that I talked about was Hacker. The Slater's Hacker. I don't know if that's the name of a hop. I know it's the name of the dance that the, you know, the All Blacks do. I don't know what that was. Uh, but I know that that's the Hacker. So is it just a beer that's named after that? Or is there a hop called Hacker? I don't know. I should experiment more with New Zealand hops because that is absolutely fantastic. It's a shame it's so lively and I lost a bit on the floor. It was on me a bit though. Oh, Ainsley Ales, if I'm back in York again, 
I'm going to go look you up. I'm going to have some more of your beer. Um, once I've got through all this that I've got down there, I may even order more online. I've still got your oatmeal stout to come, uh, and that's going to come on another day. But thank you very much, Ainsty Ales. Go check them out, ainstyales.co.uk. You will not be disappointed. Two thumbs up from me. That. That is sensational. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you again for another review here on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people.